Hey, what is going on, everybody? You are back with the Real PG for another NBA player prop video for today, Monday, January the 2nd. Before we get started, I'd like to wish you all a happy new year. And if you've been getting any value, any kind of help from this channel and the content I bring you, please smash that like button. If you've not yet got subscribed to the channel, make sure to get subscribed today and hit that bell button for the most up-to-date information on player injuries, player line movement, and anything else in regards to today's slate. Last but not least, there's going to be three important links in the description below that you can check out on your own time. First one is going to be to the free Discord, which is the heart and soul of the Real PG community. Basically, everything you're getting on the YouTube is... A constant flow of that all day long in the Discord. So it's about a thousand people in here talking NBA, NFL, NHL, you name it. Uh, Thrive, Prize Picks, Underdog, anything you need access to, have questions about, can be answered in the Discord. So come check it out, guys. It is free. Second link is to the Patreon. There's two tiers. There's a base tier and an all-access VIP tier. VIP tier has absolutely been popping lately. Uh, you can come check it out by clicking the testimonials link in the Discord. And this is Tailwinds. Um, some of the things people have to say about myself, about the Patreon, the content, things like that, and the wins that they have tailed. Um, we have also just a big hit section, which is your general trophy room, but the testimonials are about 98% tailed wins. So that's why they're separated, so you can see what the Patreon is doing. So again, check that out on your own time. But again, we have been absolutely cracking lately. So please check it out, guys. Last link and most important link right now is for Thrive Fantasy. So right now, if you go over to Thrive Fantasy and you sign up as a new user with my promo code, PG, capital letters, and you deposit $20 minimum, head back over to the Discord, send me a DM letting me know that you have done so. And here's what is going to take place. So when you deposit that $20 and you use my promo code, capital letters PG, your deposit will be matched up to $100, but it is a $20 minimum deposit. But if you deposit $20, you would get $20 for free, you deposit $50, you get $50 for free, and so on, all the way up to $100. So say you deposit 20, you're gonna get $40. Once I get you approved, I'm personally gonna send you $10 back out of my own pocket as a thank you for coming over and trying Thrive Fantasy. So you're gonna get $40 for the price of 10. So not only that, you are gonna also get my Patreon plays for the day to use if you would like with your free money over on Thrive. And last but not least, you will be entered into a raffle to be held later in January only to Thrive users who have signed up with promo code capital letters PG for a jersey of your choice, NBA, NFL, NHL, any player you would like. And it, again, guys, it is only for members who have signed up with my promo code, so the odds of hitting are not too bad. All right, so with that being said, check out Thrive, guys. Lots of great things happening over here. Uh, Check out the Patreon. We've been cracking, and let's get on with the picks. So it's early. It is only t noon right now, uh, but there is a little bit on the board. So I've got a couple picks that I think are pretty solid, and we'll take a look at why. So first we're going to dig into LaMelo Ball, and um, we have options for his points as well as – let me just submit this real quick. Um, it's fine. It'll be there. Okay, so we got Lamella Boyle. We got the options of points and points plus rebounds, I believe it was. Correct. So I personally, and we have rebounds plus assist. I personally like points plus assists, and I'll show you why, but we're going to go with just the straight points over on Thrive. So let's take a look at first on the books what Lamello and his points looks like. <coughs> I also really do like his three-pointers today. So LaMelo Ball on his points, minus 133 to the over, plus 101 to the under. On his PRA at 39.5, not 38.5. That's a key number. On 39.95 on the books, minus 131. The assist, minus 104 over 7.5. The rebounds, plus 117 over 7.5. Okay, so let's take a look now, knowing we have good value on the points as well as the PRA, but the PRA is not offered. So let's take a look at the matchup for LaMelo. So we got the point guard versus the Lakers. And we're going to be looking at the points. Scroll on down there about the 8th to 10th worst, their 10th best matchup in the NBA 
giving up 26.54 points on average per game to the point guard over the last seven. And if we look over the whole season, they have actually been worse, being the fifth best team to be facing as a point guard, but only giving up 25.98. So the season whole has changed, but the number has stayed right in that 26 points per game range. So LaMelo has good value on his Vegas line. He has a good spot. Now let's dig into his history. So let's take a look at LaMelo Ball versus the Lakers and see what he has done as far as points go. So he has at 23, 20, 25, and 26. Today we are looking for 25. So he has been, pull that back up, sorry guys, he has been right in the wheelhouse that we need him to be. 23, 20, 25, 26. Again, the matchup is top five to top 10, depending on whether you're looking at a season long or a last seven game perspective, but the matchup is good. The history is good. He's been right where we need him to be. He's hit it in two of four, but he's, you know, been a bucket short and a couple buckets short. Um, I really do like the three-point prop as well, but it's not available there. But we'll talk about that later where he's hit four, two, three, and two. But he's taken 12, eight, and eight, and five over the last four games. So he's had some great volume from three. So if his shooting is good tonight, he should easily be able to surpass the 25 points we need to cash. So let's dig in to props.cash and see what LaMelo's been doing at home. So let's look at LaMelo Ball. We're going to look at his points first. So here's what LaMelo's been doing at home. This is on the season. This is the only home games he has. He's hit that magic 23 twice, and then he has cleared the line of 24.5 three other times. So he's been a bucket short twice and hit the rest. All right? So that looks solid. If we look at the points plus rebounds, he is only hitting one of five, and he's hooked been a basket short in one. So between our op other option was rebounds plus assist, where he has been really, really short in two of the five games and missed in three of five. So if we look overall, the points is definitely the safest bet. Very, very close in all five games. I see him hitting it tonight. So everything adds up. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to lock that in as play number one on Thrive with some confidence. 24.5 points from LaMelo tonight. Next, we're going to be looking at LeBron James. And we need to decide, are we going to be looking at his PRA, his points plus assists, his points plus rebounds, or just his straight rebounds? But we're going to be looking at LeBron. I wish they just had straight points, but I guess that's not an option on Thrive today. So let's take a look. Let's start with the Vegas matchup. Always the first place to go. So LeBron James points today, 31.5, minus 137 to the over, plus 103 to the under. His PRA, though, is only minus 110 to the over, and minus 120 to the under. So it's pretty close to even on the PRA, but the points have some good value. So why are we losing value? Where are we losing value? So it's about a little under even money to the over on assists, 6.5, minus 108 to the over, minus 122 to the under, 8.5 rebounds, minus 105 to the over, minus 126 to the under, so just under 50% value, basically. Um, so let's take a look at what our options were again. So we've got points plus rebounds plus assists, points plus assists, points plus rebounds, and straight rebounds. All right, so the juice looks best on probably either the points plus assist or points plus rebounds most likely, but let's take a look at the history now. Actually, let's look at the spot he is in before we look at the history. So we've got the power forward versus Charlotte, and we're gonna be looking at, just we'll look at the points first. So points, he is a top five matchup, giving up 26.5 points per game over the last seven on the season. Charlotte has given up 21.19 so they have gotten a lot worse over the last seven let's check the last 15 23 so yeah they're slowly getting worse and worse and worse as the year goes on defense towards the power forwards all right so we've got that for points so let's look at 
the rebounds, 9.86 per game. If we look where that falls in the league, it's about dead center, a little bit towards the top, so just over a little middle of ground. And let's look at the assist as well. So Charlotte is giving up approximately 3.5 assists over the last seven. So the matchup as a whole isn't bad. Let's look at total fantasy points, which is a good comparison for PRA because you can kind of figure based on the player where the PRA would be based on the fantasy points. So the power forward versus Charlotte is the top six matchup, it looks like, giving up 50 fantasy points per game. So that translates roughly to probably about 42 to 44 PRA, depending on the player. So what are they asking from LeBron today for PRA? Let's take a look. 38.5. Oh, 47.5. Okay. So, and we just said they're giving up probably closer to 42 to 44. Okay, so that's not terribly far off. The value on the PRA was minus 110, so even money. Um, let's take a look at what LeBron has done versus Charlotte in the past. So LeBron James versus Charlotte. Most recently put up 34 points, two rebounds, eight assists. Game prior to that, 37 points, eight rebounds, six assists. Game prior, a little bit of a dud, 20 points, but six rebounds and 12 assists. So he there would have, that's 38, no, he would have missed PRA. So here he would have had 41, 43, what is the PRA again, is it? Sorry, guys, 43. PRA is 47.5, so it's a little high for LeBron. I really like just the points, but I'm going to show you why. But let's let's keep looking because we're going to use him as a play, I think. Um, so let's take a look at LeBron James. Uh, back to the game logs. So he has had, for points, 34, 37, 20, 27, 24, and then he's back into Cleveland, 41, 27, 31. So he's averaging between upper 20s to 30 points per game. Looks like the rebounds are all over the place, 2, 8, 6, 3, 12, 10, 16. Uh, assists have been pretty consistent, 8, 6, 12, 9, 11, 8. So right around 9 on average. So points plus assists doesn't look like a bad look on the past history. So let's look at LeBron's stats now. And LeBron is going to be playing away today. So we're going to look at the away stats. Let's look at just the points first. So he's been, they're asking 24-5 on just points over on the other side. But he's been right there on the road with hitting it in three of the last six. But the three misses, two of them were one shot away. One was two shots away. Um, so... Oh, I'm sorry, that's still LaMelo we're looking at. Here's LeBron. So let's look at LeBron's last 10 on the road for points alone. So 31.5. He has been, again, he's hooked short or a basket short. One, two, and then he's been two baskets short. One, two, three times. So been one to two baskets short five out of the last 10 games, and he's hit in three. So he basically is right between... However you want to look at it, 3-10 and 10 and 8-10, and 10, you know, based on what the number was that day. If we look at Charlotte's defensive ratings, 28th, all green for points. Field goal percentage allowed is all green. Three-pointers allowed, yellow, but 19, so it's high. Three-point percentage allowed, 15 is middle of the road. Free throws, James should get there a lot today, considering they're giving up a ton. So let's look at the points plus rebounds plus assists, as that was the first option at 47.5. Look at this, guys. So he has had 47, 43, 42, outlier, 45, 48, 49, 40, 42, 66. Today he is an all-green matchup for points, rebounds, and assists. Okay? So let's look at and double-check Yes, he is slated as a power forward. We looked at the matchups. So, again, okay, PRA, he has been right there. He has a great matchup. He should be able to get there today, I think, given the scenario that they're in with no AD, 
a no playing defense team, let's look at the points plus assist as that was an option. That looks a little bit better. Let's look at the points plus rebounds. A lot of really close ones, but not there. And I don't want to be let down on the hook or a basket short. So the points plus assist look I think the best right. Ooh, points plus assist looks the best right now, I think. Um, the PRA probably looks the most consistent, though. So I think PRA is probably the way I would go tonight. Um, again, the line on here is showing the same thing as the books. Minus 110 to the over, minus 120 to the under. Um, let's see who else is available, if there's anything better. But I think right now we're going to go with LeBron, and we're going to take... What is he slated for for assist, and what is he slated for for rebounds again? So he's had... In the past, I want to look at this one more time for you guys. He's been more consistent on the assist side of things with 8 to 9 per game. So if we give him 32 points and we give him 8 to 9 assists, that's 40 to 41. His points plus assists total today, 38.5. That looks best. So we're going to go LeBron's points plus assists today is what we're going to do over on Thrive, along with LaMelo Ball's points. So we're going to lock that guy in. And that's what we've got for today on Thrive. Let's head on over to prize picks, guys, where you see I liked similar picks. So let's take a look at what I liked over here. So I liked LaMelo, but I took his points plus assist, and I took LeBron again, but I took just his points. So let's take a look at why. So we know the base background now. We don't have to look at all this again. But let's look at LaMelo. And let's look at his points plus assist on or at home. So four out of five. And he has been a basket short on his miss. His points alone, three of five. Basket short both times. Assist saved him one on one of those games, as you can see. Points plus rebounds, nope, not for us. Points plus rebounds plus assist, nah, probably not for us. Three-pointers, not offered. We like this, though. We love that. But that screams points, though, does it not? So we've got 15, 15, 21, 15, 15, and just trays, you know? So if we can get... 25 points out of him we can definitely get six to seven assists you know if we look at just the assists by themselves at home six eleven dud nine eleven you know so if we look at the last five as a median he ha has nine the full nine so yeah we can count him for nine and we'll look at his points as well 26 on both so 26 plus 9 is 35 we only need 31 and a half today lock that in um again if threes get added give me the three pointers minus 146 to the over three and a half lock that in all day let's look at the points though for lebron james now so he's not gotten there still in a lot of the games but he has been Right there in this matchup today sets up incredibly well. Points, so are juiced over. Minus 125 to the over, minus 105 to the under. If we look on the book, though, which is sharper than what is on props.cash because Pinnacle is the sharpest book in the world, and every all the lines are basically front-running on books like this. So LeBron James and his points are minus one. They're almost a minus 140 on the on pinnacle versus a minus 125 on props.cash so he has great odds of hitting let's switch this to road games and his points so he hasn't hit but in three of ten but he has been either one basket short whether it be a two or a three it doesn't really matter one two Okay, well, he's been, it had 28, let's look at 28. Today, 31 and a half is the number. It, de it depends, on, normally it's 30.5 as the number, so that changes things a little bit, but 31.5, so he's at 28, 29, 21, 23, 35, 31, 38, 28, 27, 47. 
So the matchups that he struggled against, Miami, Orlando, Philly, Cleveland, Milwaukee. Makes sense. Ones where he excelled, Detroit, Dallas, Atlanta. It makes sense. And look at today. He is set up for nothing but winning today. Us pretty much all green across the board. The yellow is three-point percentage. We're not really concerned about that as Brown doesn't take a ton of threes. Um, you can take a look at what he's doing for threes at, uh, on the road. You know, in some games he doesn't even shoot some or he doesn't hit any. Um, but normally around one to two. Uh, lately he's been shining, though. Um, I personally, if we look through everything, I think the points are probably the best way to go. Oh, I guess points plus assists were probably the best way to go. Yikes, Pat, that was a good one. I screwed that up because I locked that in for 30 bucks almost. So um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to play it again. Um, did we take points plus assist on drive? That is what we came to, right? I hope that was our end decision. Sure was. All right, so cool. I made the right decision on drive. And I rushed this morning on prize picks, and I made the wrong decision. So let's hope his points cash. If his points cash, I think his points plus assist cash, but those assists have saved him a couple times. So let's get rid of the LeBron, plot, the LeBron prop and throw him in for the points plus assist. And we are going to lock that two-man as well. I do feel pretty confident in this, but because I already placed a bigger one for points, we're not going to go overboard. And that is basically all I've looked into early. I have seen some other people in my Patreon on plays such as Chris Paul assist, DeAndre Ayton rebounds, and uh, I've seen some Joel stuff, but Joel is now on the Q tag, so I would hold off on Joel. You could look at Luca today versus the Rockets, where all the stars go to smash. Um, he's done it twice this year already. If we look at the first half, because it could blow out, uh, Luka Doncic. Oh, they took him off the board. He was there this morning. Oh, did I spell it wrong before, maybe? I was going to say, they shouldn't have taken him off. There we go. All right. They bumped him, though. All right, so now he's at 26 and a half. I still feel really comfortable with that. So Luca over 26 and a half. LeBron James over 38.5. Full game. Points plus assist. As well as... Lamelo ball because we cannot get the three pointers we are going to take the points plus assist and we are going to go ahead and lock that three man nice and tight let's check if they have claxton blocks up yet they do not when they come up you're going to want them though uh so yeah we're going to lock this three man in and we're going to call it a day guys that is what I've got for you. Until the next one, best of luck. Make sure to check out Thrive Fantasy as well as the Patreon. And I wish you luck. Peace.